So what happens if we have two objects that are different sizes or that we need to resize when we compile them together? Uh, this is the effect we're going for. As you'll notice, uh, the honey dipper thing, which is a part of the leg here in the caricature, uh, is quite a different size than what we see here as compared to uh, the bottle opener. So we're going to take this file and the first thing we're going to do in CS6 is drag it out and we also have already got a selection here so real quick in our layers we're going to create a layer mask that masks that over quite nicely. We're going to make sure that we are clicked on the um, bottle opener and we can hit the command tilde key to sort of toggle through our different windows in the same application. And we still have that original caricature, so I'm going to close that one out. And if we pull this tab down and drag it out, we sort of get both those windows to where we can see them better. Click on the Honey Dipper layer, and it gives us this warning. We're just going to sort of ignore that. Uh, that's just difference in color profiles and now we have both of the layers the honey dipper and the corkscrew or bottle opener all on one document so making sure I'm in the layer for the honey dipper I'm going to rename this and you can rename these later if you wish going to hit the V as in Victor key for move. Move it into position. Let's go ahead and widen this out a little bit. Making sure I'm in this layer, I'm going to hit M, uh, Edit, Free Transform. Hovering over the corner, waiting for that little uh, double arrow curve will allow me to rotate it. It's rotating on the center axis here, which I can position wherever I want. and rotate accordingly. You'll notice now it's rotating according to that point I moved it to. Hitting command minus or control minus on a PC will allow me to zoom out, hover over one of the corner pieces, click, then hold down the shift key to maintain the aspect ratio and get it to about the size you want it. This looks good. Maybe a little bit larger again click and hold down that shift key while clicking let go of your mouse then let off the shift key and that will keep or maintain your aspect ratio hit command zero or control zero on a PC hover put it into place click and drag and then hit the return key there's other videos showing how to make the smooth transitions between elements but this is moving one individual element into or with another element quick and easily um, should you run into any issues just let me know